In this video, we would like to calculate the concentration and Herfindel index from this particular hypothetical market share calculation. So as we can see here, there are five different brands, brand A, brand B, brand C, brand D, and brand A with their respective market share. So as we can see here, the first of all, we want to calculate the concentration index. So if you remember the firm concentration index, you can choose either three firm concentration ratio or the four firm concentration ratio. Now in this case, I'm just gonna do the three firm concentration ratio. Three firm concentration ratio. So that will be equivalent to the highest three market share in your market. So in this case, the highest three will be this one, which is my brand A plus brand C and brand D. So my three firm concentration ratio, it will be 35% plus 30% plus 15%. So 35% from brand A, 30% from brand C, and 15% from brand D. And that, therefore, that will be equivalent to the 80%. So what they're saying is that three of the biggest firm is already acquiring 80% of the market share in this particular product category. So I would say that that's pretty concentrated. And you also want to look at the Herfindel index. Now the Herfindel index is basically the sum of the market square squared. So I will write there, HFI or the Herfindel index, which is the summation of the market share square. Okay. So just do not get confused with all this big E sign. So the big E sign is just saying that it's a summation, means you add all the single market share that you have. So we got five market share from different brands that we have to add up. So the first one is 35% and that's squared plus 10% squared plus 30% squared plus 15% squared plus 10% squared. Now the common mistakes that a lot of people made are going to be these two. So in this case is the three firm concentration ratio, which means that you only pick the best three or the largest three, or sometimes if it is four firm concentration ratio, it will be the largest four companies or the largest four brands. However, for the Herfindel index, you have to add every single market share that you have in the market. So in this case, if you add up and punch that into your calculator, this will give you 0 0.255. Now just want to give you a brief idea of how you punch this into your calculator. Now when you punch percentage into calculator, I'm just gonna put this up. Now, if you want to punch a percentage into calculator, make sure you don't, you, make sure you punch 35% as either 0 0.35, or you can punch 35% as 35 over 100. So it's up to you which one that you prefer, but this is how you are actually gonna count the Herfindel index and concentration ratio. I hope this makes sense and I'll see you in the next video.